Are you kidding me? $3.49 from the Goodwill sold it for $600. Talk about a big money bolo. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos. These are from members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which looks like this. We hit 85,000 members. If you're not in it, definitely come join. It's a great place to learn about bolos and to just get answers to your reseller questions. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited everyone to share their big money March Bolo. So let's get started here with the first one. This one comes from eBay store found by chance. She has joined Bolo Buddies memberships. There is a join button down below if you would like to join. That gets you a mention in the video with a pop-up and a link in the description of the video. So everybody be sure to go down below and check out those links because these members are Bolo finders. Um, so let's get started here with her Bolo. Again, that is found by chance. And it's funny because she's like, I think you need to use Google Translate on this one. And you know what I didn't do? I did not use Google Translate. So I'm going to chop this one all up for you. Uh, found this Swedish, Swedish teacup saucer set at a thrift store for $1.98. Had it in my cart for quite a while and almost put it back. But I decided to look up the comps on it again. There weren't a lot of comps out there for this set and none for this color. Some sets in the other colors were comping at $50 and one for 95 so I decided to go ahead and get it. That night, I listed it on eBay for $94.95, and it sold within a couple hours for full asking price. It's going back to Sweden via the international shipping program. I think that maybe I should have done an auction on it and started it at $95, question mark. That's what I would tell you to do, but hey, you know what? You didn't pay much for it, you sold it fast, and you made a great profit. But I always say if there's no comps exactly like yours to start your auction at what you would do your buy it now at, and then you'll know, you know, if nobody buys it, then you just relist it at a buy it now with the best offer and you list it higher. That's what I always say as well. But let's say she started this at 95. She may have gotten more bids or maybe she had it priced just right. But the good thing is she'll never know and she made a great profit. So maybe use Google Translate on this one, Courtney. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> All right, it is a vintage, here we go. Uppsala, Ekebai, Gefeli, <laughs> Zebra, Zanet, Zanit, Cup and Saucer. That's what it looks like. How did I do? Probably really bad, but that's okay. It is, um, it's a cup and saucer, I can say that. And it sold for big money, $94.95. That is fantastic. It's beautiful. Um, got junk in our trunk. This is Rhonda. This is her YouTube channel. She's a moderator in the Facebook group. Go show her some love with a sub and tell her thank you for helping out in the Facebook group because it is definitely a chore. It's a big one. Um, purchased a large lot of vintage paper dolls at a, a yard sale. All were in complete sets, some tears and other issues. Average price each was a dollar. Sold for asking price of $90 total. Two different buyers within a week of listing. And she's got it here in this nice little, um, oh, I can't think of what it's called, where you put several pictures in a box. So this is what it looks like. Paper dolls, guys, definitely a bolo. This is definitely bread and butter, but a fast sale. I find these Angry Bird plush all the time and they always sell fast between eight and $15. These are Star Wars and had some wear, but even just the plain ones will sell quickly. I paid 25 cents for each of these at my favorite thrift store. Easy to list, easy to ship, I will take it. All right, so what she's saying is not big money, but they sell fast for her anywhere between eight and $15. 25 cents for this one, and it sold for $8.99 plus shipping on eBay. Here's another one. She said, love your videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. This one is another Angry Birds Plus, and this is Chewbacca. Paid 25 cents, sold for $8.99 plus shipping. 
So this kind of goes back to with what I do. I do a lot of bread and butter, um, but my bread and butter is $35 or less. Items that I pick up really cheap, like she's picking these up cheap and selling them for a profit. So um, you have to decide, is it worth it for you if it's a quick flip? Now she's probably flipping these quicker because she's selling them for $9. So keep that in mind. Now here's another one that she has, and this one sold for more, sold for 150. This is a big money bolo. I've sold empty liquor bottles before, but this one was special. It is uh, Baccarat, Baccarat, I don't know how to say it, Crystal. Sold in about three to four weeks. I priced it high, but then decided to take a best offer. I shipped in a box within a box. So nervous, but it was received unbroken. Purchased for just a few bucks from a thrift. Sold best offer of 150. It's a Remy Martin, Louise, I don't know what number that is, vintage, Cognac, Baccarat, oh, Baccarat. I don't know how to say that. It's some type of crystal, decanter, empty bottle, no box. This is what it looks like. Oh, that's so frustrating when I don't know how to say words. Ah, I can't even fake it. You know, I'm just going to tell you, I can't say this. You guys can put it down in the comments for me, how you like do the little spaces with the dashes and then it helps me pronounce it. I'll try to remember, but usually I don't. <laughs> Pick this up. Um, it's a vintage dare shirt at a local thrift store, which is similar to the Benz. Hmm. Cost me a dollar sold internationally for a best offer of $45 after a couple of weeks. I'm kicking myself for not grabbing more of the vintage tees with it after seeing this one go for so much. Um, so yeah, it's a dare shirt. It's pretty cool, right? Single stitch. Yes. Yep. Size large single stitch. $45. Found at the Goodwill, just sitting, oh my goodness, this one comes from Butterfly Hustles, and I will tell you, if you're not following her on YouTube, you got to go check her out. She's linked down below. She is also a Bolo Buddies member, but this girl finds the most incredible things at the thrift store. I don't know if she's just like really patient or if she looks in places that I don't look, which I never look at the belts, so that's probably what's going on here, but she has found so many good belts, and she even got this at the Goodwill, Okay. Found at the Goodwill, just sitting where the belts are. I couldn't believe it because I knew it was sterling because I love Nat Native American sterling. Paid $3.49 and took a best offer of $600. Are you kidding me? $3.49 from the Goodwill, sold it for $600. Talk about a big money bolo. Wow. Incredible. They missed it. The Goodwill missed it. Oh. <gasps> All right. This one comes from Childhood Finds. This is her, um, e no, her YouTube channel. And this item was free to me from a family member. And she also sells really cool stuff. So go check out her uh, YouTube channel. It sold for full asking price in a few days. This was a local artist to my area and all of her pieces when available go for a hundred or more. So learning your local artist can be very valuable. Um, I can agree with her on that. There is a local artist that makes Santas, wood carved Santas, and I've done really well with them. And I know to look for them. And I know they, he is um, a local artist. You guys have seen him in my videos. Um, but yeah, getting to know your local artist, that's a great tip. This is a Velda Morby oil painting in frame, vintage Nevada art, mostly yellow flowers. And it sold for 115. Oh, nope, I'm sorry. Best offer of 100. No. Asking price, $115. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm losing it tonight. Sorry, guys. Did I just do that? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we might have to do a voice effect on that. And if you hate my voice effects, I am so sorry. But who was it? I saw somebody at the Goodwill Benz. And um, if you're watching, but she was talking to me and she's like, I just love your voice effects. And I'm like, thank you so much. I think they are so fun. And I said, some people hate them. I said, but you know, if I can make 10 people crack up or smile for the day, like I have done my job. Like I just want to make people happy. There's so much going on in the world and so many people are dealing with so many different things. And, you know, just a little smile and a little laughter can do so much. So if you hate my voiceovers, I am so sorry. Just like pretend like you didn't hear it because I'm going to keep doing them because I love them. Um, 
because they make me laugh and um, I like making people laugh. I'm not very funny, but you know, I think the voice effects kind of can be if I do them in the right place. Now, some of them are an epic fail. I will admit that I'm getting better at trying to do better placement. So anyway, let me know in the comments if you like the voice effects or hate the voice effects. All right, let's keep going here. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Picker Money Flipper. And this is her YouTube channel. She will be linked down below. Paid 15 at an estate sale. Sold in three days for $247.45 plus shipping. It is a Casio PCR2 2000 electric cash register with power key works. See video tested. And that is a big money bolo right there. 15 and to 247. Here is another one from Picker Money Flipper. Uh, $10 at a yard sale, sold in an hour for $124.95 plus shipping. Another thing that I walk past all the time because I don't want to test them. Are you guilty of walking past things that you don't want to test? Let me know in the comments. Sony Cybershot DC, DSC W120 digital camera pink with battery charger cased test video. So they did a video showing that it worked, which is really smart. And they have one more for us. I paid 10 for a bag of silverware at an estate sale, accepted an offer of 80 plus shipping sold in two days. It is vintage Oneida community, my rose stainless flatware set of 46 silverware, forks and spoons. Now, one thing that is great is if you can determine what the pattern is on the silverware, and sometimes it just takes searching eBay. Sometimes Google Lens will pick it up. Not very often. It's kind of tricky. But if you can identify that and put it in the title, that's going to help you sell your item. Found this vase at a heavily trafficked, trafficked <laughs> local antique mall for $7. Purchased on Friday. Listed it Saturday. Sold on Sunday for a best offer of $140. That is awesome rare vintage napco heart pixie boy valentine's planter vase japan anthropomorphic i always have a trouble with that word look at that i believe it that is cool um anything uh made in japan with the little the napco is good there's so many good things going on about this valentine's day super cool item this one comes from the rebel reseller she is fantastic. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely go and check her out if you have not already. And she specializes in plush. And you guys are not going to believe this first one. I don't remember where I picked it up, but possibly the Goodwill bins. I couldn't find anything online. So I picked a very big price to list it at. It took a while to sell, but finally sold for, are you ready? $269.95 to an international buyer. It's a Sanrio. Oh, you ready for this? Zasha Ikabuta. <laughs> Zasha Ikabuta. That's what it looks like. Pink Pig Plush. Seven inches. That's it. Seven inches. And it sold for $269.95. That is amazing. I'm pretty sure I picked this one up at the Goodwill Bins also. I'm always on the lookout for this brand. It sold for $92.95. Yes, we've talked about this one before. It's a Tyco Kitty Kitty Kitten Plush. This one is the Jungle Cat Snow Leopard from 1993. These are a major bolo. If you find them, some can go for over $100. Definitely be on the lookout. This is probably a Goodwill Benz or a yard sale pickup. Might have paid a couple dollars for it. It sold for $64.81. It's an Amuse, oh my goodness, Don Guren Squirrel Plush Pink Cream Stuffed Animal. Again, this is one I've never heard of. I definitely would have picked it up because I like different plush and I know that Rebel does as well. Um, her YouTube channel is a wealth of knowledge, you guys. I have her link down below along with all of the other mentions in this video. They are Bolo Buddies members. They are at level two and they get the perks and you need to go check them out. Their eBay stores, click on that heart and that will let you know when they post new items. It will also tell you like coupon alerts if they post a coupon but it's a great way to learn. But the YouTube channels, sub them up. You will, you will be happy that you did. You will learn a lot. They're great channels. So this one sold for $64.81 plus shipping. And she's got another one here for us. 
I picked up this Kipper the Dog plush at a recent estate sale for less than $5. I don't find them very often, but they are definitely a plush to pick up. This sold for $69.95 on Etsy, and this is what it looks like. Kipper Dog 1998 Prestige Stuffed Animal Toy. This one comes from Flippin' It Good. This is his YouTube channel, and he does a lot of retail arbitrage, but this is a yard sale find. I found this at a yard sale last season for 40. The lot had three cameras, which already sold, this lens and two tripods. This one took some time to sell, super happy with it. I took an offer of $475. So he paid $40 for all of it. He has already sold most of it. This was, it looks like the last item to sell and it sold for 475 bucks. Wow, and the buyer paid shipping. It is Sigma AF 50 500 mm, I don't know, zoom lens with case and instructions. Pretty interesting, right? Okay, let's. Hi, Courtney. I purchased this item at Salvation Army about six months ago for under $5. Can't remember the exact price and sold it for $355. I thought it looked unique, so I was pleasantly surprised to find it was made by a famous Austrian artist. Um, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Crazy Little Critters and Vintage Collectibles. This is her eBay store, no YouTube channel. It's an Austrian Vienna Franz Bergman cat on broomstick bronze sculpture. How fantastic is that? That is great. All right, this one comes from Amazing Steals and Deals, and he is a major bolo finder. I have actually featured his store. I'll try to remember to link it down below. This is what that video looks like. Definitely check it out. He found this at an estate sale for $50 and sold it for full price of $450 in two days. I'm telling you, this man finds the treasures. Um, it's an antique telephone, automatic, electric, uh, monophone, Bakelite Chrome with Ringer. It's a Bakelite phone. What? Anyway, yeah, 450 bucks. Here's the, his next one. Paid $20 at an estate sale. Never heard of the designer, so looked it up. Sold for $225 in less than a week. So this is going to be probably a new one to a lot of you because he knows his designer stuff. Juan Antonio Leather and Antelope Inner Magnetic Snap Closure Tote Bag. Never heard of it. 20 into 225. And the next one comes from eBay Store Impressions Created. And this is what it looks like. She does not have a YouTube channel. She said, I, am, I was super excited to see Fire and Light Sculpture come up for auction in Ohio as they are a highly collectible and rare hand-blown recycled studio glass company from California. They went out of business and collectors are paying high dollars to add to or replace dishes and glasses. They come in about nine colors. Some are signed, but some aren't. I won this auction for $57 and after nine months in a variety of prices and offers to a high number of watchers, I took a best offer of $275. The comps were gradually going lower on sculptures, so I decided to take it. Buyer is all in for $311.16. And this is what it looks like right here. Fire and light art glass sculpture bowl, splash, plump, purple hand blown signed. Wow, that is incredible. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, She Picker. And her eBay store is Two Sister Pickers. YouTube is she picker and Instagram is she underscore picker. And I will have her link down below. I bought this car magazine at an estate sale on Sunday, listed it Monday morning and uh, around 11 and sold it the same day at nine that night, $1 into 20. I will take it all day long. It is a 1970 June sports car graphic Camaro. Um, so it's, I think a magazine, right? My, yeah, a car magazine. So a dollar into 20 and a quick sale. Quick sales are awesome. Here is another one from She Picker. I found this lotion at an estate sale about two days after watching Farm Girl Scavenger Noel talking about sealed, retired, and discontinued toiletries, lotions, etc. 
I'm friends with the estate sale owner and she gives me a flat price for my pile. That said, I paid all in for 25 cents for this bottle of lotion and it sold for full price of $95 in one month. Huge shout out to, to Noelle for all the time she spends helping us out here. So Noelle is Farm Girl Scavenger and I'll link her down below also, but she does, um, let's talk about it. She'll pick a category and she basically teaches about bolos in those categories and she does it live so you guys can ask questions. So definitely go sub up Noelle. She's getting really close to 5,000 subscribers. So let's see how many we can get her. Go sub. And She Picker is going to be putting out content also on her YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. I love this next one. It is so cute. Found this super cute bunny burrow basket at the bins. It's spun cotton. So it is super lightweight. So paid 75 cents. Listed it for $29.99 and sold for best offer of $25 in less than 24 hours. Oh my goodness. I would have listed this so much higher because it is just adorable. And I probably would have sat on it a long time waiting for the right buyer. And she flipped it in less than 24 hours. So are you guys listed high long tail resellers? Or are you the listed on the lower end and flip it quick reseller? Let me know down in the comments. All right, here's another one from She Picker. I found this lot of train pieces at the bins. They were everywhere. So I decided to gather all I could find. My bins offers a flat price of $7 for anything seven pounds or more. So I put all the pieces in a box that I also found at the bins. Asked if this qualifies as an item for the seven pound rule. And they said, sure, why not? I listed it for $79.99, boxed it up for mailing so I could get an accurate weight. Shipping was 43. I thought it would sit forever. My phone dinged in the middle of the night five weeks later. Buyer paid full asking price of $79.99. It is a vintage train mix lot of Lionel Marks plastic ville made in the u.s america as is curved wow great idea and good job asking if it qualified for the um seven dollars because you know a lot of goodwill bins do different things like that uh depending on what it is heavier items sometimes they will discount sometimes it depends on the store manager let me know down in the comments what your goodwill bins does for um for your particular store if they have any specials like that. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there because we are at 23 minutes. Thank you all so much for being here and thank you for watching. There's going to be some other videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and another video. Check out another video. That would be great. I have tons of different types of videos on this channel. So um, I even have videos where I dig through the bins. So um, that's a lot of fun. I actually record while I'm there and you guys can see me digging and you can go and tell me everything that you see that I missed and help me learn. Um, be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And thanks so much for being here. Leave me a comment down below of which bolo surprised you the most. I do have links down below of items and things that I use for my business, such as WorthPoint, List Perfectly. Um, I'm also over on Whatnot as Bolo Buddies. There's a link down below that you can get $15 to shop if you join with my referral link. If you're not selling on Mercari and Poshmark, I also have referral links down below. If you use those links, you will get money to shop. And then when you buy something, I will get money to shop. And on Mercari, if you sell something, if you sell, I think it's $100. No, I know it is. It's $100 worth of stuff. You get $20 to shop, which is awesome. I just sold something. Yay. Trying to read what it says. Um, I'm recording on my phone and I can see my alerts popping up. And I'm like, ooh, cha-ching. You can't hear the cha-ching. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, okay. So I'm Mercari. If you sign up with my link down below, you get $10 to shop. And then if you sell $100 worth of stuff, you get another $20 to shop. And I did a video on Build-A-Bear, Big Money Build-A-Bear. And what I found is that a lot of times they sell for more money on Poshmark. No, Mercari on Mercari. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Um, so check out that Build-A-Bear video check out those links down below. There's a list perfectly demo video. If you like what you see and you want to learn to cross post, check out that video. Um, you can get 30% off your first month of list perfectly with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. Uh, worth points down there. Wholesale is down there. I'm trying to think of the other things that I use. American Bubble Boy is where I'm getting my bubble wrap from. There's a referral link down below for that. Free shipping on the bubble wrap. Ah! 
<laughs> Gotta love free shipping on bubble wrap because it's huge. Um, I can't remember. Just go down there and check out those links. Those are things that I use for my business. So uh, thank you guys again for being here. And thank you. this vintage holiday ink microwave survey meter. Huh? It was in excellent condition, completely functional. I picked it up from the curb in my neighborhood. The family was moving and throughout half their house. <laughs> I also got a Cricut machine, an Xbox One, an Aceteline, Aceteline, I think. Not sure if that's spelled right or if I just can't read. Uh, torch, some si some type of torch. It was listed on Mercari for more than eBay. Um, this was listed for eight months before selling. I'm not really sure what this thing does, but it says microwave survey meter. What on earth? Uh, so what did he sell it for? I, I don't even know what he sold it for. It doesn't say. Oh, man. Huh. I'm really bummed out. I was excited to hear about this big money bolo and there is no price. So I may be pulling this out of the video or I may just keep it for laughs um, because I don't know. I don't know what they sell for. I don't know if it's a bolo or not, guys. I don't know. I just don't know. But it says it was listed on Mercari for more than eBay. No clue what that means.